Welcome back. Okay, today we're talking about the smallest fitness tracker I've ever used. It's the Aura Ring Generation 3. It's a really cool piece of tech, but I do have some questions. For example, is it durable? Am I going to be able to scratch or even break it? At this price, would it be better just to buy an Apple Watch? Well, I have some thoughts, so let's talk about that. Hi, I'm Benjamin Butcher. I make videos about tech and gaming, and I really love what I do, so do subscribe if you're enjoying this stuff. Let's start with how discreet this is. I have to say, this is an aspect of the product that I really like. No one knows that I'm wearing a wearable. Occasionally, people have noticed the green lights, which turn on in the dark. I have to assume that this is deliberate, given the transparent inner ring. Honestly, the subtle green lights are cool and I'm not really mad about it. I also just like the way the ring looks in general. It's so compact and as I mentioned, discreet. Typically, the only time people notice it is when they're already aware of the brand and what the ring does. At first, it did feel weird to be wearing it, but now it feels weird when I take it off. It's just gotten to the point that I don't really notice it all that much. And frankly, it's a comfortable thing. I wear it pretty much until the battery dies. If you decide that this ring is the wrong size and maybe you ordered the wrong one, you can swap it once. But then you don't get to return it after that and you don't get another chance. You gotta get it right on the second try or else. Next, let's talk about physical damage. So the free weights in my gym have a stainless steel grip and also I work with a bunch of rough and scratchy objects. My worry was that my ring would get scratched or damaged. What I've found, however, is that the ring is quite tough. Granted, I'm only working in a cafe, but as mentioned, there are a lot of things that could feasibly damage it, and I haven't seen any damage yet. What's more interesting to me, however, is that there were times when I thought I'd actually scratched it, but later the scratches just kind of disappeared. Also, I didn't go to great depths, pardon the pun, to test the waterproof, but it's more than a match for the walking, sweating, swimming, and showering that I do. Next, let's talk about sleep tracking. Starting with accuracy. I've been keeping quite a close eye on this, and honestly, this appears to be quite accurate. Not only that, but the ring also tracks REM sleep, deep sleep, light sleep, and how much time I spend awake. Honestly, given that I generally have no idea how much REM sleep I'm actually getting, it's hard to know how real these numbers are. Having said that, I noticed that on the nights when my ring said that I've slept well, I feel quite refreshed. I just want to be clear that I assessed how I felt about my sleep before I looked at the app, just to be sure the app's forecast for my sleep wouldn't affect how I felt about it. Also worth noting that if you bought an Apple Watch for sleep tracking, you need to set up bedtime in the Apple Health app. Also worth noting that this is not the case with the ring. As long as you've allowed it permission to write into the Apple Health app, it works regardless of what you set up there. I also really like that based on my new sleep patterns around the holidays, it actually suggested a new bedtime for me. Yesterday, I went to bed about 30 minutes before the recommended bedtime, and honestly, today I feel great. I do really love having this ring because it not only tracks my sleep habits quite accurately, but it also gives me gentle nudges towards sleeping better, such as the aforementioned suggested bedtime. I also just think it's cool that it takes my current sleep habits and optimizes for them, essentially taking an average and giving me the best time to get to sleep. Having said all of this, the sleep data is especially helpful because it's another part of understanding my general wellness and well-being and how the quality of my sleep factors into my feeling good. Next, let's talk about workouts. Firstly, I love that it recognizes and logs workouts automatically. Now, it does need me to confirm that it got the right workout, but if I row, it suggests rowing, and if I run, it suggests running, which is really nice. This is also really great because while I do love using day one to record my workouts, this app helps me to go back and record any which I may have missed, especially if several days later I'm wondering, did I work out on Friday? It's also been specifically quite good at recognizing my walks to and from work. Having said that, my Aura Ring did not realize when I did 40 minutes of yoga immediately afterwards. Now, if we were just going off of heart rate, I could understand this, but Aura Ring does have a 3D accelerometer, so it isn't a huge stretch to think that it could understand what I'm doing based on my motion. And while this isn't as big a deal for yoga, it is kind of weird to me that it didn't notice my core workout later on. Thankfully, this isn't a huge deal because I do use day one to track my workouts, but just so you know, if you are only using the Aura app, then it's pretty easy to add a workout manually and retrieve the heart rate data from the time that you worked out. Let's talk about the accuracy of this. Obviously, I've already got into some detail on this point, but while the ring is probably about 90% accurate, I have had a couple of workouts now where it got either the start or the stop time of my rowing or running workout wrong. Having said that, I think the takeaway from this should be that it is not a perfect system, but it is a much better tool than what we had before and it does work remarkably well overall. Next, let's talk about charge time and battery loss. The ring charges at about 1% per minute. That's understandable given that it's so tiny. What's impressive to me is how on the spot the battery estimate for this is. On the package, it says that it'll last from four to seven days and mine lasts almost exactly six. And that's with some relatively heavy usage. 
Now, since it is waterproof and the battery is great, you don't need to do this, but if you kept your charger in the bathroom and charged it during your showers every day, you'd pretty much never run out of battery. Assuming your showers are about 15 minutes and you shower every day, obviously. Next, let's talk about Apple Health Integration. This is another huge bonus. While the Aura app is actually great, I love that Aura writes all my data to the Apple Health app. I talked about this a little bit in my day one review, but something that I love is when companies and apps play well with each other and create redundancy. In this case, it means that if Aura as a company dies or gets bought out and extinguished, I don't have to worry about losing access to all of my health data because it's stored with Apple and Aura. With that said, let's talk a little bit more about the Aura app itself. While the physical product is great, we know that no smart device is any good without a good interface. I'm happy to say that the interface for the Aura Ring is delightful. Honestly, I love the level of detail in the data as well as how it's organized because it makes it intuitive and easy to use. Keep in mind though that there is an absolute mountain of data here and that some of the less often used data points like body temperature for example might be a little bit harder to find. Next, let's talk about monthly fee and additional meditation content, etc. As you may be aware, Aura has now instituted a monthly fee for its new adopters. If you previously purchased an earlier generation, you're exempt from that monthly fee. This means that in addition to its initial price tag in Canada, the Aura Ring will cost you $6.99 USD, which in maple syrup money is about $8.88. Now, you can choose to cancel the monthly fee. However, to quote Aura's website, please note that by canceling your Aura membership, you'll only be able to see your three daily Aura scores, ring battery, basic profile information, information and app settings, all your contributors, tailored insights, features, and in-app content among other dimensions of your Aura app and experience will be locked which is kind of shitty. If you've watched my other videos, then you know how I feel about monthly fees. It's something that's becoming increasingly ubiquitous, and honestly, I really do dislike it. There are instances where a monthly subscription makes sense. I feel like this isn't one of them, especially if you compare what Aura is offering in comparison to a similarly priced service like Headspace. I'll grant you that their library is, as they put it, ever increasing, but at the moment, the monthly fee doesn't feel worth it to me, especially in a world where there's an ever increasing number of monthly subscriptions to keep up with. See what I did there. Bang for buck. So, all told, this device cost me $477.57 Canadian, plus the monthly fee, which I will get to in a second. Also, I should note that you do get your first six months for free. The problem with this price is that this means that a baseline Apple Watch SE is actually over $100 cheaper than this ring, which, again, given how much more you can do on an Apple Watch is crazy. This being the case, it just makes so much more sense here just to get an Apple Watch and charge it during your lunch break or something. The only exception here that I can think of would be if you really want super detailed and accurate sleep data as well as mostly accurate workout data. Or if for some reason you can wear a ring but not a watch for work or something, I don't know. Next, let's talk about customer support. This is one area where I feel Aura Ring is a little lacking. When I tried to access customer support, all I could find was a forum. When I dug deeper, however, using a little message box on the right-hand side of the page, I found that I could ask questions which would be then directed to a related page on the forum. When I told it twice that these answers were unhelpful, I then received an option to send them an email. Frankly, this is seriously disappointing. I know that companies need to be careful not to allow tech support to eat up their resources, but frankly, burying the let me talk to a human button so deep makes the product worse, in my opinion. Lastly, some features that I would really like. Workout heart rate. This is said to be coming in early 2022. We haven't seen it yet. Recognized motion, so that if I do do a sun salutation, my ring notices it regardless of my lowered heart rate and logs it. I'd even be okay with having to train my ring on what a lower heart rate workout looks like, because right now, if I do a core workout at home, I just have to log it manually, which kind of defeats the purpose of having a ring. Next, let's talk about sustainability. To the best of my knowledge, Aura encourages the customers to recycle their old rings, but has no recycling program in place for their devices. Now I hear you saying, Ben, the rings are tiny, it won't matter. To which I would say, fuck you, they've sold hundreds of thousands of rings. And, and to be honest, the standard has to be higher now. We have to address this. Tech companies, whether big or small, must take steps to prevent e-waste. The reality here is that this kind of thinking is what's gotten the world billions of tons of e-waste every year, and it's Time to start keeping companies accountable. For as much as I like this company, I can't find anything on their website about what they're doing to minimize their environmental impact. Granted, I didn't look at the entire website, but it shouldn't be that hard to find. Next, summary. Honestly, I have to say that this device is insanely cool. If, if you had told 10-year-old Ben that he'd get to wear a ring with chips in it that had Bluetooth and fitness tracking, etc., I think I probably would have lost my mind. I love how small it is and how great the battery is, and I really love how it epitomizes the ease of use and convenience for a certain price tag. Additionally, I love the mountains of highly detailed sleep data it pulls in, and I find the insights and notifications that it gives me based on this very helpful. I also love the automatic workout tracking. I'm excited to see what Aura has in store for the future. However, I have to say that really for anyone who's looking to get some serious value for their dollar, this device is more elegance and convenience than it is bang for buck. It's great, but it just isn't worth the money. Okay, that's pretty much it. 
I'm BRBTG, and as always, I'll be right back.